All right, so we're sitting in the big, nice studio running Pro Tools and everything, and we're ready to go ahead and get Superior up and running, right? Well, you have come to the right place. That is precisely what I intend to show you how to do. In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about getting Superior up and running in Pro Tools. Now, although I am running Empowered, the same will apply for all versions of Pro Tools, okay? What we have here is the edit window, and I am going to show you how to do it in the edit window and the mix window just because you have an option to do it in both, okay? So let me go ahead and start off by getting into my mix window, and I'm going to come on up here to where it says track, come on down and get new. Now I want to go ahead and create one new stereo instrument track in Tix, and I'm going to go ahead and add some other tracks as well. Let's go ahead and make, I don't know, let's make a dozen stereo auxiliary tracks okay and i'll show you why in just one minute and now let's press create let's go ahead and scroll back over this direction and right up here if you look on instrument one channel right up here you're going to see inserts a through e go ahead and just click on an empty box come on down to multi-channel plug-in and now let's kick it on over a little bit and come down to where it says instrument and now let's go over again and we're gonna come on down to where it says Superior Drummer Multi Out, right there. And here you'll see our Superior 2 interface. Let's go ahead and load up a kit, just grab any. We'll go ahead and do the custom and vintage. And as you can hear, we're already prepared to start recording a stereo track. Now this is gonna be handy if you need to get in and out of Pro Tools quickly. Okay, as you can see, everything is on there. All you have to do is just record, engage it, and go to town. Start recording your stuff, okay? But what happens if you're someone like me, and you want to go ahead and start tweaking all the individual kit pieces? What do you do? Well, that's easy, and I'm glad you asked. Now what we want to do is go on into our mixer right here. Press the mixer tab. And now let's come on down here to the output column and click on it. Now you do have the option to send each kit piece out to whatever output you want, okay? You can customize it however, you can bus it wherever or anything, okay? But for this example, we're just gonna go ahead and click on multi-channel and let Superior take care of all the routing for us. Now if you look, you'll see our kick drum is going out to one, two, and 1920. Snare drum top is three, four, bottom five, six, tom seven, eight, tom nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so forth and so on. Okay, they got a lot of creative routing going on with this particular kit, and that's cool. So now what I'm going to do is close the interface, and we're going to go ahead and start routing everything like it should be. What I want to do is first realize that on this channel right here, all I have is my kick now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and name it kick drum. Next on my auxiliary channel right here, I need to go ahead and set up the I.O. So I'm just going to click where it says no input, come on down to plug in, come over to Superior Drummer Multi Output, and we're going to go 3-4, okay, because that's going to be my snare. And I want to go ahead and name that snare top. And you don't have to name it as you go. You can lay it all out, then name it if you prefer. It's completely up to you. Now next is going to be my snare bottom, that's going to be 5-6, so let's go ahead and lock that up real quick. Alright, double click, snare bottom, and on the next auxiliary channel, I want to go ahead and go with my hi-hats, but if you look on the custom and vintage, the hi-hats are not laid out like the rest of the kits, the hi-hats are not on the 7-8. You have toms on 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then here's the hats down here on 17, 18. Well, I just happen to be used to mixing drums with the kick drum and then top, bottom, and then hi-hats, then toms, and so forth and so on, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put my hats right here, and like I said, they are on 17 and 18, so that's precisely what I'm going to set it up as. Let's go to plug-in, go to superior, and then I'm going to come on down to 17, 18, and now... See that there? There's my hi hats. All right, next, let's go ahead and do my rack tom one, which is going to be seven eight right here. Rack tom one. And you know what? I bet rack tom two is going to be on nine ten. What you think? 
Let's see here. That's number one, so let's go to number two. Right there. There we go. Rack Tom 2. All right, next should be Rack Tom 3 on 11 12. And now for the remainder of this, I'm going to get back into the edit window just so we can see everything I'm doing. Let's scroll down just a little bit. And right here, if you'll notice, we don't see any I.O. That's because we have to set that edit window up to show it. So let's go right here to view. Come on down to edit window views. And let's go ahead and set up our I.O. Now we're going to come on and put this channel on 1314. And that is going to be my floor tom one. Now granted, all I have is one floor tom. But nonetheless... Let's go ahead and do our overheads real quick. And the overheads are going to be on channel 2122. And I chose this kit for a reason. You see, in the previous videos, I've shown, you know, basically how to line everything up just like the superior mixer is. Well, I wanted to show how to do it in the event that you want to lay it out your own way, okay? So that's why I'm doing this particular one like I am. But I'm going to go ahead and name it overheads. Okay, and then let's scroll down a little more there. And then for our ambient mic, that's going to be 2324. Double click, ambient. Okay, and next on my list is going to be a mono room mic. So let's go ahead and set that up for 2526. Mono room, okay, scroll down a little bit. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the comp room. Okay, and so now we have everything lined up and ready to start rocking, okay? Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get back into my interface and grab a groove real quick. See that there? That is how you get Superior running in Pro Tools, both with a stereo output and then a multi-channel output as well. Thanks so much, people. I appreciate you watching. I hope this video helps you out. Y'all stick around, and I will see you in the next video.